Maggie, do you believe there are men still walking freely in Rochdale? I know who there should are. be behind bars that were part of this Rochdale sex ring. They, they are walking freely currently today. I mean, well, uh, there are things that come out in tonight's episode. But for instance, Amber spent six months doing video interviews as a victim, as a witness, naming 20, 30 men that raped her. And it took her an awful lot to put a trust us, because she'd already been arrested at the age of 15. So the, the little bit of the interview that's shown in the drama was actually perhaps a 10, 15 minute part of hours and hours of interviews. Mm -hmm. That is the only time that she was, it was her first interview and she was testing the water. Yeah. Um, but of all the allegations that she made, all the men that she named, there is not one record of those allegations. Nothing was crime. Oh I just God. can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't this believe happened it a couple of years ago. Not one of those allegations was crimed. Not one of those men was arrested and interviewed in relation to the abuse of her. And they had the addresses. And they had the... She did a oh. list of numbers yeah. with Ruby. Ruby was being abused by that man at the age of 12, actually. Oh, my God. You know, he got her pregnant when she was just 13. Oh. And even that man, we had a fetus that she didn't know the police had seized. That, that was what I was, one of the things I was tasked to do, to go and tell Lorna, Lorna yeah. and, um, and Ruby. But that was your brilliance because you might, and that's why I, we've, we formed our lovely friendship because there's a difference between being a copper and there's a, there's a difference between someone who you can trust. And mm -hmm. I don't know what you have within you mm -hmm. to get those girls to be able to open up. And I know we're indebted mm -hmm. to you for, yeah. for letting that happen. <laughs> What I would say, yeah, it is, it's, it's about being human and caring. Now, um, but there are a lot of police officers with those skills. It's just that the, the powers that be do not allow them to, um, to put the time in and the effort. Yeah. And, you know, they're, they're looking at a, a quick hit and move on. Mm -hmm. And is it convenient? We need radical changes. And that isn't just the police, that's the CPS, because the CPS overturned... Uh, the decision to drop Holly in 2009. And apologised for it. Yes, but they actually repeated that same mistake, in my opinion, with Amber, because yeah. they put her through months of interviews and then changed the mind. And more than that, they then added her onto the indictment as one of the group of paedophiles mm -hmm. without arresting her, without cautioning her, without interviewing her, without giving her access to legal advice or a solicitor, without telling her what was being said in court. Mm. And then, I'm sorry, but and then we're trying to take her children off her mm. because she'd been named as a paedophile. Mm. Yeah. And to me, I can't get my head around it to this day. Maggie, I have to ask you, I mean, some have alleged um, an eagerness not to appear racist um, meant that I'm police and social... Oh, no, absolutely not, but meant that um, police and social services were unwilling to almost deal with this. Do you feel that was an issue in those early days? All I will say is that the law is the law. And if a man, whoever that is, whether it's Jimmy Savile or whether it's the Catholic Church or whether... If a man of 40, 50, 60 is Many picking schoolgirls up from school and having sex with a 12, 13, 14-year-old yeah. girl. Yeah. He is a paedophile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And, yeah. Um, and, and I don't know why senior police officers needed convincing of that. Mm -hmm. They are the people who make the decisions. Um, and I was told before I resigned, what was said to me was, you know what? Senior police officers make decisions, and if you can't accept those decisions, then maybe you're in the wrong job. Mm. And that's what made me resign, because I felt that this had to come out into the public arena to bring about changes. And I also believe that senior police officers should be held accountable for failing yeah. to act. Mm -hmm. Knowingly, and the other part of it was I was looking at Hillsborough and 30 years of trauma for all those families that mm -hmm. people make mistakes, of course. and I, I know that, but you hold your hands up and you acknowledge your mistakes and then you can start to put them right. They still don't acknowledge those mistakes.